Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Mike Peters, the president of Connected Car for Harman Global. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. What is Connected Car and how does Harman see that? Connected Car means we bring as our vision the CE industry and the automotive industry together and bring value to our customers from there. So, for instance, we have right now announced our driveline open platform, which brings different applications and partners to this ecosystem so that we're really flexible enough and with a high speed time to market manner can develop functionalities uh, being in the car soon. And you've got some pretty substantial software behind you going into that. You've now partnered with some people as well, as can be seen here. So, uh, Innovies, I know that they're the LiDAR people from Israel. Right. So, um, you know, you, when you start putting all of these together, and you, then you can combine them into, like we saw the Maserati and the Mini and everyone that has uh, new technology. Does your API, does it allow for third party layers to come in? We, we know that Ford just announced Waze is going to be uh, in their car. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the concept. Because we think, we believe, no company on this planet can deliver everything in 360 degree manner. It's a so, very good point. So, and that's why I think it's a, it's a big value to our customers to have an open platform where you can tie in many partners. And this is the concept of our driveline platform uh, being now announced three years ago on Samsung. Right. Um, and yes, we definitely are open there because it's part of our strategy to integrate many partners to that. I want to walk over to Rinspeed and yes. just show people what all these buzzwords mean. <laughs> because sure. there is such a line at this, I'll call it a box. Toyota just showed their e-palette. Okay. It looks a little bit like this, but you've got a, a platform here that can come off of it. Let's say that, that that's a battery electric vehicle and you can take change it out and then have the people sit in this pod and keep going. So there's no, there, the anxiety of driving range is now gone. Yes. But what's also more important is that once that anxiety is gone, the people still want to be in the pod because there's so much personalization there. Right. So actually, uh, as you know, the mobility concepts of the future will definitely influence the interior of so, such a compartment. And the concept here is that we show our, our partners what could be possibly done with a new way of thinking mobility. That you have different setups. You could have, for instance, here in office. So Just this is part of the ride sharing that is incorporated inside of AudioWorks. Because AudioWorks takes... Um, to, gives you sort of like your own personal idea of whether you like Harman, whether you like JBL, whatever it is. Right. But it also allows you to sit in one of these and it will it, it will look at your eye and say, oh, that's Luann. We know her. Yes. She wants, she likes this type of music. She likes right. this type of that's gaming. That's exactly is the concept. And that's that, what they're doing now. Right. That's, that's what they're doing right now. And, uh, and imagine you come from from work, want to go home, the system knows what you're doing and therefore it will play the right music. It will play, give you the right entertainment for that. Or even if you try to work, it will bring up maybe the latest news and latest uh, emails you need to respond. So depending on what you actually want to do, uh, this system will configure and adapt to your needs. Right. So you're not looking at ride sharing as some kind of dirty bus or dirty car that has an old sound system in it. You're looking at the configuration that knows that I like clean, right. I'm these type of right. people. So it makes a huge difference going into the future. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you.